Hi, my name is Dr. Maria Harriet Stack and I'm just finishing off my video from last night. Um, I have a, a one just urge collect and I uh, referred to my 7 and one uh, moisturizer as the foundation and all of you know that the 7 and one only um, mo is moisturizer and I've um, just uh, changed that um, in the description in the video down below. Now, um, the lighting has changed since last night. I'm just using natural lighting today. So um, I decided that I was going to use the um, uh, lesser pigment uh, of those two. Um, and it's quite quite a lot so that's the less, lesser pigment i'm just going to put a little bit more on um just as we are putting the foundation uh, as we were doing it last night so we're not um you know buffing too much we're just patting um into the skin and um you know very gently and so that the um we're not taking the um foundation off the skin after we put it on and so that it is it sort of sticks to the primer which we had last night and which i've used again um today so we're going to use the lighter um of the uh of the two that i got in spain uh, of the tint i the uh, which is the ultra wear which uh, i think is a very good foundation and um is always picked as one of the top sort of leading brands or be it a little expensive but uh it's not the most expensive but certainly it always wins um the awards and it's my time using it so let's just try some and let's put that on um, and I'll just finish this off again just as we said earlier on um, I have done my eyes and um, I have uh, very gently um, just patting this on I think stamping was too hard a word because that's not good for the skin um, that's just pushing too much uh, but what I meant was patting it in, tapping it into the skin um, as opposed to taking it all off with big, huge, sort of round motions which will remove the, skin, the, the, the foundation um, onto the brush, which you don't want to do. And, and you can see that I've done that. There is, um, we will see how much foundation is in the brush after I finish. I'll show it to you. So here we are. We're just... Uh, at the end stage of of the prep and the foundation you've had part one of the video so you know what I'm talking about so um, so I just show you um, very close to the camera um, you can see that it is it is a lovely foundation and um, it's pretty uh, you know airbrush if you like um, I just put some down my neck so that it doesn't uh, some people are doing now their ears as well um it's, it's kind of the latest trend um so i, I would only do that at the, at the very end because it could get a bit messy um so that's that's the foundation um really uh you know quite nicely uh, applied um, with this um, brush, um, the Kesh Ema brush. And you can see there's really nothing on the brush now. It's all pretty much uh, on my face and it is very evenly applied. And there's no streaking uh, or anything like that. Now, because we've got a little bit more time and um, looking at the clock here, um, We'll just, what else would we do? We, we don't leave any colour on the face. It, it is a nice um, sort of airbrush effect. So I think we'll just do a little bit of um, uh, uh, contouring and um, highlighting and um, concealing. And of course, I've, um, and then we, we'll put some, um, a very small amount of powder to set all that 
and then uh, just a spray if I can find it, um, a, the hydrating mist to set everything. Um, so um, I've got um, I got the um, wet and wild stick uh, when I was abroad and really I, I, I only want to use a tiny bit of, of this um, contour stick um, under the cheekbones and I only I only like to use the side of the face. I do not want to bring color um, of the of the um, uh, into the face, the middle of the face. So I only want to um, have this um, foundation, if you like, uh, contour at the side of the face. So this part of the face is not. Uh, uh, is not in the picture of the contour and I know uh, a lot of people want to contour uh, around their hairline and that's fine and people want to chisel their chin out if they feel they have a double chin and um, just to get rid of that sort of horrible look of uh, the people smile having that, that sort of double chin I, I've Fortunately, we really don't have that, um, but it's sort of fairly normal at a certain age that some subcutaneous fat will develop in, in an area which we prefer not to. So that's the um, that's the um, uh, contour, and uh, I'm just going to again just tap it. I don't want to um, spread it everywhere. I just want to tap it and um, I'm going to tap it up because um, uh, I just want that feeling of, of a facelift in everything I do uh, with colour. So we will just bring that up. And again, here on this side, um, sort of tap into the, um, into the colour, into the contour and um, I might have to do a tiny bit of, of blending, um, but I don't want to do too much um, because I just want to tap this into the face, into the side of the face to get that um, lift uh, with the contour and the shadow, I guess is what, um, is what we're after, shadow. Um, so that we could see that this sort of outer part of our face, the side of our face, doesn't appear, if you like, because the contour stops it uh, doing that. And then we just do it under here again. Um, I'm just watching that, um, the clock, because it's actually uh, going fairly quickly. And, um, so I'll just do what I can and then um, just here, uh, just here, I, I really want to do just a bit of concealing. Um, I can't find the one I'm looking for. Um, so I'll just use um, this one that's um, um, near to me here. And uh, again, we're talking about just lifting everything and here again so lifting lifting everything for for that sort of um uh, plastic surgery look if you like because that's what plastic surgery does it lifts um the areas of the, lifts the face um tightens and lifts and tightens the face so that the, the looseness of of age uh, is concealed and removed. Um, the saggy skin is removed, and um, then it's sewn back together again. That's a bit a bit sort of uh, uh, crude, but that's basically it. I and mean, there are other non-surgical ways of doing of tightening the skin as well, which really I'm a fan of non-surgical ways whenever possible. So let's just do that. Um, 